if uh, crews and rap rap crews, because we had talked, okay. we had we had the discussion uh, prior to the verses with the uh, Jada Kiss and not Jada Kiss, but the Locks and Dipset. And my argument to you was, okay. man, Locks is a group, Dipset is a crew. And then when Dipset was hot, Dipset was a crew within a crew. And thinking of now, and I might be a little out of touch with, with how hip hop is going now, but and maybe you can feel me on because I feel like you're probably closer to uh, the hip hop culture right now than I am right now. I, maybe I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm out of touch with the youth right now. <laughs> but I can't think of any hip hop crews right now. Can you think of like are there any hip hop crews? And with crews and hip hop. Are they as important as they used to be back when you had Rockefeller? You had MMG as a crew. You had Cash Money was a crew. You had No Limit. That was a crew. And the crews were making movements, and people would go solo and push the crew forward, and the crew would push the artists forward. I don't see that in the rap game as much as that. I know J. Cole has, like, um, Dreamville and stuff like that, but it doesn't resonate the same with me. And I can't think of any other crews. You know what saying? You had uh, Death Row record label, but still kind of a crew. Bad Boy record label, but still kind of a crew. Um, where are we at with that? Uh, I'm with you. I don't think there, there are any crews currently in the game. I don't, I don't see no crews out there. Uh, you, you named the only one that you possibly could name, which is uh, J. Cole and what he got going on with uh, what is it? Uh, Cole, uh, what is it? What is uh, Dreamville? Something Ville. Dreamville. Dreamville. Yeah, yeah, Dreamville. But other than that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know of any crews, man. And I don't think so. That, uh, so so so. It, 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 like it's, said, I don't uh, think it's important. It's not important anymore. That's that used to be the way that you could get a name for yourself. So if you wanted to get your label off the ground, you come out with a crew. You know what I'm saying? Think what mm -hmm. Ross did. Probably the most recent person to do it is, is Ross and what he did with MMG. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he built the crew and got all his solo acts off. You know what I'm saying? Through the crew. Yeah. That ain't... I, I don't see that since then. Ross did it around the same time Kanye was doing it with the good music crew. And, you know, he right. had uh, a lot of people. He had Common. He had Big Sean. He had 2 Chains. Uh, he he had his crew. You know what I'm saying, but but since where, then, where is it at now? You know what I'm saying. It don't, yeah, it don't where, where, exist. Now? It's not a way to because put like, people on no more. Because from the era that we grew up in, and I'm speaking more so for myself. I, I'll, I'll let you chime in on it if, if, if you would like to. But I just remember as we grew up, you know, you kind of took identity with a crew. You know, being a hip hop right. fan, like if you were G Unit. You was a G Unit fan, you rolled with their crew. You know what I'm saying? People wore the shirts, G Unit. You know what I'm saying? They was Lloyd yeah. Banks and 50 and all of this and game when he was part of the crew. And like you repped that crew. And then that crew pushed their fan base. And that fan base was like their family. You know what I'm saying? And if you was dipset, you could tell people who was dipset fans and they was, well, you was wearing a rockerware and you was a rocker, Rockefeller. You know what I'm saying? You was rocking with the crew, state property. You know what I'm saying? Crew within the crew. And it's like you yeah. had those crews, and it was necessary back then to have that identity and to have your fans identify with you, with that crew, to push the, um, push the music forward. Like, I don't even right. see that. Like, dude, like, who, who, who are the kids identifying themselves with on the hip hop side? You know, with, 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 with the crews. Like, we saw movements. You said we had the long, Long T T shirts, you know what I'm saying? And you just do what that you know what I'm saying what we was representing, you know, or like no limit people's body body. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was No that. Limit. Speaking of them, No Limit probably did the crew thing the best out of anybody. Mm. No limit. I'm gonna have to say so. no limit did the crew thing. Look what he was able to do with his crew. Yeah. He would drop a new album like every week. And all <laughs> he had to do was just introduce somebody new in the crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He would use the crew to introduce somebody. They would do a crew song on every album. You True. know what I'm saying? And we introduced the new artist on the on the label through the crew song 
And, and then they drop an album within the month. Like, you know what and saying? even if you didn't know it, you saw the CD in the record store just based on the album, on, on the uh, CD artwork, you knew that was part of, that was Cash Money Crew. They had a distinctive artwork. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, no Limit. Oh, crap. Cash Money I mean, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean I, didn't mean, I didn't mean Cash Money, but No Limit. Yeah, No Limit. Yeah, because they had the plastic cases, man, with like and very they, they even had a, yeah, They even had a certain kind of artwork on how they uh, marketed, you know what I'm saying, pushing their music out. You knew it would be you like a colorful really album cover, like a, a, pla a hard plastic, not like the clear plastic, but like, mm -hmm. a, a, yeah, it was just different, man. He did it. He did it special out of everybody's crew. You know what I'm saying? Because the other crews tended to be smaller crews. Like, you yeah. know, G, G unit, everybody went platinum. That was cool, but it wasn't, it won't like P. P, P pushed a whole oh, lot of movie, people out. Man. It was a movie. You're right. You're right. You're right. And even to yeah, but, an artist like Snoop Dogg, who was already solid, and pushed him, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Continued his crew, continued his yeah. career. Uh, Snoop was on the decline without Pete, man. You know, and, and Snoop will admit that. He needed that. He gave, P gave him life, and then he went off, and now Snoop has still got the longevity he has today based mm -hmm. off that. But that was a, a make-or-break moment when he left Death Row. That's yeah. facts. I mean, and how, and how many crews... Can say they done that, so you might have a good point with uh with No Limit and Master P, man. As yeah. far as being one of the top notch crews or the, you know, what I'm saying, most successful in what they did with 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 with, with having the crew and pushing the crew yeah. like like he did, you know. Definitely, and and you gotta also consider the fact he did it in a time where his sound won't end, mm -hmm. South won't pop him. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he he. He took the South to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that there weren't already people, but he actually came out and, and had a, a movement for the South mm -hmm. that I'm not going to say that uh, Cash Money Cash Money was doing their own thing, but in a way, they kind of rode the wave just a little bit. They, you know were, what I'm yeah, saying? They, 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 they rode the wave. I mean, of course, yeah. did they extend the wave? They did. Yeah. yeah did they, they capitalize took the wave to the next level. the next level? Yeah, they did. Yeah. But did they ride the wave to get going the way they to get the momentum they got? Absolutely, they can't mm -hmm. deny that. I I I don't, I don't care what they say or what any Cash Money fan says. Oh, they rode that wave. Yeah, ain't no way you didn't ride that wave. And, and when I when I give P his props, I'm not taking nothing away from Jay Prince and Rap a Lot or nothing from what they was doing in Memphis with that uh three with three six and all that. Mm -hmm. But no, ain't nobody do it like P. Ain't nobody that's that. That's you know that. I, 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 I can see your point on that. I can definitely see your point on that. But yeah, so you're Shout saying rap a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying <laughs> now in this new generation that the hip hop crew is gone. Like it's it's a it's a I don't want to say extinct, but an endangered species. Yeah, and it's based off of what. Well, I'm going to say this, and then I want to revisit something else on this crew thing, because I feel like this might shift the conversation, but I think the crew ended because you have so many artists that don't have uh, their such one-hit wonders that they can't power a crew. You know what I'm saying? Like That is true. That's that my true. perspective of it. Even the ones that are big enough to possibly move a crew, I don't think they thinking on that level to be like a uh, an exec, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To where they would go start a label and get a crew. There's some some big names that'll be around, but they just not like like Drake could have did the crew thing. He kind of tried to do it. I think the weekend came out of his camp, but that whole OVO thing didn't go nowhere. And I nah. think Drake was <laughs> always happy being an employee. You know what I'm saying? Like he just yeah. he was happy working for somebody. He really never cash money. Could have did it. On his own when he came out, he had enough movement to do mm -hmm. it. He signed and he was happy doing that. And I think he's happy being a worker. Anybody else that's big enough, like some of the young artists, I don't think they in exec mode, man. I think they just happy getting their money and doing their own thing. Like mm -hmm. and and all the rest of them are just one hit wonders. They can't do it. Man. And I mean, and, and 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 that's sad to see for me because I think that was something that was exciting to me in um in the hip hop culture and in the hip hop movement. Is watching how these crews would, would um, you know what I'm saying come together, you know, formulate and take on these take on these identities and like in my opinion it was something that 
was uh, something that pushed the culture forward, you know, pushed hip-hop culture forward. And like I said, it, it, it's not saying it, it's a necessity, but it's kind of sad to me to see it, you know, especially I was a big mm-hmm. fan of I was a, I was a big fan of MMG and, 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 and that whole movement and to kind of see even how they dismantled and not kept together as strong as that. I mean, they, they still ride for each other and stuff like that, but it's not the same as it was in their heyday. When it was just getting going and getting that momentum going, that was a fun and time. None, and none of them created a crew. Dream Chasers ain't got no crew. He put a label yeah, out, but he ain't got no crew. Yes. Right, like, right. Nobody created a crew out of that. And so it's like it, it, it's it's just kind of sad to see because, like I said, growing up being a hip hop fan, it was fun to see that throughout the years. You know, to see how this crew was coming together and see how that crew was coming together and see how this crew was coming at this crew and. You know, the competitiveness and building the families, and like I said, and then creating identities and then the fans relating to these identities. Each one, you can, I'm, I'm, I'm a J, I'm, 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 a, I'm a, a, a G unit guy, I'm a dipset guy, I'm a, a Terror Squad guy, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was, that was exciting. Rough Riders, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like that was big. I'm a, I'm a Rough Rider guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People Who's the new member of this high, crew? You know. Yeah, when we was in high school, people used to rap these things and draw the draw the sim- symbols, and they was yeah. like, "This Wu Tang." You know what I'm saying? I'm a Wu Tang guy. People buy the charms and put them on their necklaces. <laughs> yeah. I seen that. It was yeah. fun. It, it, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the '90s and and, and 2000s, it was fun to see. You know what I'm saying? It was fun to be a part of. And I just it, it, I, it, I, I, I I feel I feel that for 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 the, for the young generation in hip hop, man. Well, and another element to it is it's hard to do the crew thing when uh, the the crew thing is hard to do when you're not traditionally rapping. Mm. Hard to have a crew full of singers. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You can't really have a crew of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's solo music, man. Like, you're right. You're right. That's solo.